I am continuing my read from African American Folk Tales, Stories from Black Traditions in the New World by Roger D. Abrams. This chapter is called The Singing Bones. There was a king and a queen who had an only daughter and an only son. The king was getting old and started to think about who was going to get the kingdom. Now the king loved flowers and would always send the ladies from all around to go out and gather roses for him from the forest. So he got this idea that whichever of his children went into the forest and brought him the more beautiful bouquet would get the kingdom and all his riches. So the brother and sister went off into the bush, the boy going one way and the girl another, and they agreed to meet back in this field. But where the boy went, he couldn't find any roses at all, while the girl found six beautiful flowers that she made into a nice bouquet. When they met in the field, the boy was so vexed to see that bouquet that he picked up a big stick and hit her over the head. He then dug a hole underneath a big willow tree that was growing in that field, and he buried her there. He took the flowers and went back to his father's house and gave them to him. They waited and waited for the sister to come, but she never did. Which made the king very sad, because he loved her so much. There was a flock of sheep that belonged to the king feeding in that field one day. And the shepherd boy was walking underneath that willow tree, and he heard something singing. Shepherd boy, shepherd boy, don't you know this horn you blow? My brother, he has killed me in the woods, and he took my flowers away, and he dug a hole and buried me beneath that willow tree. The shepherd boy had a dog, and his dog started to scratch the ground while he heard this song, and he dug up a bone. So he brought it to the shepherd boy, and the shepherd boy saw it look like a fife, and he blew. Shepherd boy, shepherd boy, don't you know this horn you blow? My brother, he has killed me in the woods, and he took my flowers away. He dug a hole and buried me beneath that willow tree. So when the shepherd came down to his home that night, he wondered what he had found. He blew the bone as he was walking home. Shepherd boy, shepherd boy, don't you know this horn you blow? My brother, he has killed me in the woods, and he took my flowers away. He dug a hole and buried me beneath that willow tree. The shepherd was really worried about the bone. What kind of thing is this? he asked himself and he played and listened to it over and over. So the next day he took the bone with him to the field and played it, and the sheep and the dog descended and led him right to the king. And when they went, the shepherd came directly in front of him with the bone, and it started to sing. Father dear, father dear, don't you know this horn you blow? My brother, he has killed me in the woods. And he took my flowers away. He dug a hole and buried me beneath that willow tree. And the king was so amazed. He took up the bone and tied it in a big white towel and put it on his truck and carried it all around the island. All the people around the island went to hear that bone. And when the truck reached home, he sent a horse and carriage for it, put up a big stand, and put the bone on it so more people could hear that song. After a while, he sent all about for his people. The more people came, the more the bone would blow. And so the people all came for the brother, but he tried to hide. And they sent out all about until they found him, and they brought him to the king. And the king brought him the bone. Brother dear, brother dear, don't you know this horn I blow? My brother, he has killed me in the woods, and he took my flowers away. He dug a hole and buried me beneath that willow tree. 
the king said, I don't know what to do to you. What can I do? What do you deserve? And the king got a cart of pitch, and they put him down in the cart of pitch and covered him with the pitch. And he put on top of the pitch some gas, and he sent that cart of pitch with his son covered with the pitch all over the island. And the king went up to it, and he lit a match and set it on fire. And that was how he killed his only son. (laughs) That was from St. Vincent. You know, they don't play in St. Vincent. (laughs) An eye for an eye. (laughs) I love it.